Your baby starts developing its circulatory system at about five weeks, and by six weeks you can usually see a heartbeat on the ultrasound, and they can make it in a way that you can actually even hear that. However, it's not until 10 to 12 weeks that you can first hear the fetal heart tones in the office. And quite honestly, that's one of my most favorite visits with patients because the look on their face, particularly the dad's face, when they hear the fetal heart tones, is just, it's just wonderful. It's a very exciting time. Uh, it's just a wonderful sound to hear. The fetal heart tone machine that we use is this. This is basically a little Doppler machine, um, and this is what we use to hear fetal heart tones. Um, Unfortunately, there are people uh, that will prey on pregnant women to make money, and so people have developed uh, machines that look like this, but really are just fan they're just microphones. They aren't ultrasound machines. And they sell these at different baby stores for $20 or $30. Don't waste your money, you're not gonna hear anything. And every now and then I have a patient call me panicked because they think the baby's dead because they bought one of these cheap instruments and they can't hear the baby's heart tones. This particular instrument costs about $350, $400. Totally different technology. It's really a little baby ultrasound machine. And this is what we listen to fetal heart tones with. So what we do is we sort of take the thing here and we use some of this uh, gel. We call it ultrasound goop or cold jelly. And we squeeze some of it onto the probe. And then we put it on your tummy and turn the machine on and then you're able to hear the heart tones through that. Um, again, we can first hear heart tones somewhere between 10 and 12 weeks. So if you're 10, 11 weeks and you can't hear the heart tones, don't panic. It doesn't mean there's a problem with your baby. It just means that it needs to get a little bit bigger to be able to hear. Or occasionally we are off by your due date. So we start dating your pregnancy by your last menstrual period. If you haven't had an ultrasound yet, when we try to listen with heart tones, if we can't hear it, it probably just means you're not as far along uh, as you think you are. So if you don't hear the heart tones, don't panic. The doctor will probably follow up with an ultrasound just to make sure that your dating is correct. Um, the rate of the fetal heart tones varies depending on what the baby's doing. And generally speaking, it's usually faster at the beginning of pregnancy and very gradually slows down as your pregnancy continues. A normal range of fetal heart tones is somewhere between 120 and 160 to 170 beats per minute. And it'll vary, and a lot of times it'll vary even while you're listening to it, and that's not a bad sign. Depending on the variation, that's often actually a very healthy sign that the baby's doing well. So don't worry if it sounds a little bit funny to you. Um, so look forward to your visit at 10 to 12 weeks when the doctor can first hear the baby's fetal heart tones, because that means everything is okay. In fact, one of the big statistics I like to tell my patients is that when you first get pregnant, you've got about a 15% chance of miscarriage. Once you can see the heart tones on the ultrasound, that drops down to about 5%. But once you can hear it in the office, that chance of miscarriage is 1% or maybe even less than that, which means you have a 99% chance that this pregnancy is going to go on and deliver a normal, healthy baby. So congratulations if you've heard the heart tones. It's a wonderful visit. And don't be shy if you want to record it on your phone. I'm sure the doctor won't mind. I've had some patients even make it their ringtone, which I think is, is really neat.